Okay, since I've shown you guys how to determine directions in the cubic unit cell, now I will attempt to show you guys how to determine the directional index for a direction in the HCP unit cell. Now, in order for you to determine the direction in a HCP unit cell, first you must neglect this A3 axis and find the direction indices using the axis A1, A2 and Z. So let's say now we want to find the direction of the red arrow in three indices. We do the same thing as we did for the cubic unit cell. First you find the hit point. Now the hit point here is very simply that you just move from the origin one unit cell length in A1. You don't move in A2 or Z. Right, so the hit point here will be 1, 0, 0. Now, tail, the tail point, now the tail point is here. So how do I get there? So from the origin, I move minus 1 unit length in the A1 direction and 1 unit cell length in the Z direction. Thus, the tail point will be minus 1, 0, and 1. So if you take the hit minus of the tail, right, it will be 1 minus minus 1, which will be 2. 0 minus 0, it is 0. And 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. So now you have the indices, right, uh, in three indices, which is 2, 0, minus 1. Now, you need to plug this guy all right, into these equations. All right? Okay? So 2 here is u prime. 0 here is v prime. And minus 1 here is w prime. So if I may, I will just remember this 3 and this is and I will do the conversion so u right, is equal to 1 third 2 times 2 which is u, u prime sorry okay so minus of v prime this is equivalent to 4 over 3 now v is equal to one third two times v prime which is this zero minus of u prime which is two and this will give you minus two thirds t is equal to minus right u which is this u which is 4 over 3 plus v which is this v which is minus 2 third so in other words it is 4 third plus minus 2 third and this answer will give minus 2 third and the end w is equal to w prime which is minus 1 so after that you just multiply all three of this by 3 and then you will get indices of 4 2 bar 2 bar and 1 bar in other words it will look like this